Now you got to reach out to the very one you reject. That's right. Listen. A false witness shall not be unpunished. A false witness won't be unpunished. And he that speaketh lies he shall that not speak escape. Lies won't get away. Many will entreat the favor of the prince. Many will entreat the favor of the prince. And every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. Do you hear that? Amen. You take a person that's giving, some seek to take advantage of a person that's giving. That's right. There are those who's really in need. I mean, really need. And then there are those who's not in need. They're just users. Users. That's right. Charge them that are rich. Listen at this. Now in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 17. We want to build on the prosperity trash. Amen. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen that are watching, true prosperity is not the trash that Hen been teaching, T.D. Snake's been teaching, Crefla or quarter <laughs> or Joel Allstein. Amen. None of them. No, none of them. True prosperity yeah. is the wisdom and knowledge That's and right. understanding of who God is. That's right. Are you wealthy, Pastor Jennings? Yes. Oh, yes. Where's your wealth? William is holding it. That's right. The word of God is our wealth. That's right. For the Bible says we have this treasure in earthly vessels, in vessels at the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. That's right. This in chart in first Timothy six and verse 17. Listen at this. This message right here, mm -hmm. this scripture right here is talking to a certain class of people. That's right. It ain't talking to poor folk. No. It's talking to rich folk right here. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter 6 and we're at verse 17. All right. Charge them. Charge them. That are rich in I'm this world. I'm warning you. Yes. I'm them. warning you. That's right. Charge them that are rich where? In this world. What? That they be not high-minded. I told you that's how a lot of them get. Yeah. Got a mink, got a fox. Wearing a fox and a mink and it's 80 degrees. That's right. <laughs> they just want somebody to know they have it. Yeah. I remember some years ago, I was in the Newport News Temple, and I had a BMW. It was good and used. Someone had it before I did. <laughs> and I was on my way to the, ho on my way to the hotel, but, but I only got maybe like five minutes from the church. And there was a fella pulled up in a BMW flagging back, and I didn't know who he was. I thought maybe he was one of the brothers of the church. And so I pulled over and got out my car. I wanted to know, like, who are you? He said, oh, Pastor Jim, I'm a television viewer. I just saw you when you drove off. I said, all right, I was ready to get back in the car. He said, I take a picture with you? Well, I'm used to people taking pictures with me. Yeah. But then when he got the picture and stood there, took the picture, he did it in the video. Then we're just talking. Here's Pastor Jennings. Me and Pastor Jennings standing here. Wow. I got a BMW. He got a one. The moment I heard that, I walked away. Mm. Wow. How materialistic. If you drive a Beamer. A Jag, a Ferrari, a Caddy, a Mule, a Donkey, <laughs> if you're on the back of a snail. Yeah. That's right. Bentley, Rose, Maybach, it don't matter. That's right. If you want to drive that, if you can afford it, fine. That's right. But if that drives you, yeah. until besides being in church, you want to sit at an exclusive restaurant so everybody can see your grill. Lord. You want a showboat. That's right. Then you are cheap. That's Not right. only in spirit, but you are cheap as a man and as a woman. That's right. For the greatest prize is the wisdom of God. Yeah. Are you listening? Charge them that are rich in this world. Wait a minute. Do you hear all this Bible? Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded. Wait a minute. Why do God put that there? Because God himself know the mentality of rich people. Right. It's hard to find a rich person want to repent. Amen. Poor folk do it. Folks struggling with bills and get behind them bills. Repent. Yeah, that's for me. That's right. And be baptized. Right. Once in a while, you may have some rich folks out there who striving to do God's will, but it's so rare. So 
Right. Until the book says it's more easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. needle. Look, when I was young, I used to take that thread, whoo, put it through that eye quick. Hmm. Now, man, I find myself like my father, tongue hanging out. <laughs> I hit everything but the needle. You know, and my wife, I remember when she, she would take it. Give me that. You can't have sick. Mm-hmm. Now when she take it, she be. <laughs> and I say, uh-huh. <laughs> you understand? Oh, yeah. So if it's difficult at times to put thread. <laughs> caught you unaware, didn't it? <laughs> if it's difficult at times to put thread. You know a camel ain't going through the eye of a knee. So look at it. He says it's more easy. Easier for Easier. Him. How hardly. Listen at this. Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 18 and at verse 24. How hardly. At, and when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful. Yes. He said how hardly. How hardly. Shall they that have riches. Shall they that have riches. Enter into the kingdom of God. What? How hardly shall they Do that have riches. Do you hear this rich folk? Amen. Hardly. Now. I can show you people in the Bible who was rich serving God. Yeah. Abraham was one. Yeah. Job was one. Jacob was one. But they had a main ingredient that rich folk don't have. Right. Fearing God. That's right. They feared the Lord. That's right. The Bible said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. Abraham then was an out in clubs. That's right. Bumping and grinding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You today, you rich, wealthy, and then you do the stupidest thing. That's true. Look how much money these ball players make and still live in there acting like fools who yes. ain't got a dime. Get locked up for doing the dumbest thing. You're wealthy and you're still fighting men over some woman. That's right. That's true. Am I right, I say? That's right. Multi millionaires and you fighting in the street over some woman. Mm-hmm. And the woman you fighting over, she don't wink her eye at several men. That's right. You're so hellish. Yeah. Listen at the Bible. How hardly shall they that have riches. How hardly shall they that have riches. Enter into the kingdom of God. Do you see this? A rich man is hard for him to get into God's kingdom. Right. Because most cases, if God don't fully possess mind, soul, body, and spirit of the rich man or of the rich woman then the money will become a god. That's right. The money will become a idol. It's no way that I'm going to buy furniture I can't sit in. It's no way we're going to have plates, cups, or china, or silverware that I can't use to eat and I can't sit down in. No way. Amen. Amen. Oh, don't sit there. King Louis sat there. If Louis Rump can sit there, I can sit there. That's right. That's right. Saving glasses for guests. <laughs> and guests you may not have. <laughs> the glasses sit there and turn colors. Yeah. Saving silverware for guests. Yeah. And the silverware done turn brown. Amen. Saving clothes for a particular, particular what? When I got married, I wasn't going to buy no tux. I mean, my brother asked me, Nick, ain't you going to rent a tux? I'm like, rent a tux? <laughs> I said, you see all these suits I got? <laughs> no, I ain't renting no tux. Something I'm going to have on for 20 minutes. Yeah. I went and put, got my suit clean that I preached in a few weeks before that. Got me some white material, went down there, sold it, made me a bow tie, clipped it on, and preached that night after I said, I do. That's right. Preached that night. That's right. Stop living a life with the mission to impress. The only one that you should try to be close to more than anything and anybody is your Lord. That's right. Because iniquity has separated us between us and God. Us and God. Listen. For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye. Man, no one can put it together like Jesus. Yeah. No one. Nobody. You know, I mean, you close one eye and think that's better than the other one. That can't get the thread in. You close that one. That can't get it in. You just keep hitting the air. <laughs> so then the Lord makes it more hard. Hard. 
It is easier for a camel, for a camel to go, through a, to needle's go eye through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Some people pray and ask God to make them rich. God won't answer that prayer for everybody. everybody. Now, mm-hmm. Benny Hinn and others like him have lied through the years mm-hmm. and said it is not the will of God for God's people to be poor. Mm-hmm. They have said that repeatedly again. You have blasphemed against the Bible because Jesus said the, the poor, poor. Listen. In the book of St. John. Listen. St. John chapter 12 and at verse 8. Says what? For the poor For always. The poor always. Ye have with you. No, the poor sinner. For the poor or the poor. He just said the poor. The he poor. didn't say whether they sinner or saint. The poor. You got poor holy people and poor sinners. That's right. Poor. Viewers, wealth is not a measuring stick of life. Some wealthy folk are some of the most arrogant, mean, self-righteous, self-centered that I've seen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. And then there are some folk that have, you wouldn't even know they have it. Mm-hmm. They're humble. You know, they're not selfish. Yeah. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Listen. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world. Charge them. Charge them. So the Holy Ghost... Brought this to the apostle, mm-hmm. and the apostle Paul is now bringing it to his son in the gospel, Timothy. That's right. Charge them. Charge them that are rich. This is a message direct to wealthy, rich folk. Amen. Mm-hmm. Charge them that are rich in this world. What should we charge them about? That they be not high-minded. Do nor, you see this? Mm-hmm. Don't get arrogant. High-minded. Don't get high-minded. That's right. We that are strive to be holy people, if we buy a car, we don't try to bling it. That's right. That's right. I get a car, it's going to have the rims that it came with. (laughs) It ain't going to be sitting high up like a Mack truck. And it's a car? That's right. I buy my wife a car, what she look like going somewhere and coming around the corner with eyelashes on the... uh, on the light. <laughs> this right. foolishness. Yes. You in the church striving to serve God, brother, you have no business with men's uh, testicle looking things hanging from the back of your truck. No way. No. You in the church, you have no business with dice hanging from the mirror of your car. That's right. That's right. All things are passed away yeah. because you are a new creature. That's right. Wonderful. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. We have hundreds of CDL drivers, <laughs> brothers that got pickups. Amen. What do you like coming down my house with rubber dice hanging from the back of your truck? <laughs> I don't mean dice that you roll to shoot crap with either. Right. Something that looked like the, the man, the male anatomy. Yeah. Right. It's amazing how these even women bought it, put it on their cars. How trampish. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're in a church. We don't have dice hanging from our mirror. <laughs> Eyelashes on our car uh, lights. Hey, like we don't do that. No. We don't put stickers on our cars and trucks. Of the, of the shape of a naked woman. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Charge. Amen. Everything about us still fall under the category, put a difference between holy and unholy. Yeah, that's right. Clean and unclean. That's right. You was in the center, you sat in different areas. If you did it, set scoping out girls. Man, you in a church, you ain't got to be sitting out there on schoolyards and parks looking like you some crazy buzzard. That's right. That's right. That's perverseness. That's, that's perverted. That is perverted. Hmm. I want to soak you a little. Amen. You can hate me by this evening. Amen. Do you hear this? Charge them that are rich. In Charge them. Charge them. 
You see, a lot of rich folk think they are, they are entitled. Because a lot of the mentality is superior in the way they think, and we're less than. Right. So they think they got rights to say certain things to you and treat you a certain way because they're already looking down on you as being not good enough. That's right. As a human being. That's right. The, the, the rich. The, the, the rich. In the book. <laughs> the book That's right. Arthur. Jab him, Williams. Jab him. <laughs> the, the, the rich. Give chapter and verse. Proverbs so chapter 22 <laughs> and verse 2. That lets you know he wanted to get that out <laughs> <Yeah>. bad. <laughs> All right. Proverbs 22 and at verse 2. What is that? The rich. The rich. And poor. And poor. Meet together. Meet together. The, the Lord. But the Lord. Is the maker of them all. You meet together. That's right. Listen, you rich folk who despise the poor, you're going to be laying in the grave. Yeah. And you both going to stand before God. That's right. So when I say I wish I was a wealthy man, it's because the work of the Lord is so demanding on me. That's right. It grieves me to go to a place, rent a hotel room, and we got to everywhere we go in America and out, we have an instant congregation. Yeah. Instant. Instant. Go to a place, hundred and something get baptized. Man, most men won't baptize 50 people in 80 years. True. I would love to be able to have the ability to buy a church on the spot. Yeah. Have contractors in there on the spot. Same day or next day. That's right. And then dedicate it a few weeks later. That's right. That's right. God gave me a dedication. That's and wonderful. yet I'm tired of traveling. Mm. But there's a press that is hard for me to describe. That the Lord himself put in us. Amen. To keep going from state to state. Town to town, village to village, country to country. In a few more months, we'll be in Australia. Yeah. Who go all the way to Australia to preach? <laughs> and you ain't getting paid? That's right. It's hot there. That's right. Next year, we'll be in Alaska. Yeah. Oh, there. We'll be in Alaska next year. Amen. Next year, we'll be in Dubai, mm. near Saudi Arabia. Starting to work in Dubai. We'll be in Africa, Johannesburg in a few months. We're not going down there for fun. Oh, no. Benny Hinn and Jakes and Olstein would never have gotten rich if they stood for what God stood for. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. True wealth Go ahead. is the truth of God. That's right. There's nothing more valuable, more precious. A diamond don't carry the quality of God's wisdom. No, no. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. The church must prioritize. Yeah. Or should I say the church must reprioritize? Yeah. Because the messages in the churches, the so-called apostolics and the Pentecostals and the non-denominations, their message have changed and is getting more and more and more like the world. Oh yeah. Listen. Back in 1 Timothy 6 and verse 17. All right. Charge them that are rich in this world. Charge them that are rich right here. That they be not high-minded. That you don't be high-minded, self-righteous, arrogant beside yourself. Nor trust. Wait a minute. Nor trust. In uncertain riches. Don't trust in what you have. That's right. If you became rich, start a business, money start to come in, don't trust it. Don't trust it. But what is it about a Pastor Jennings that I shouldn't trust? Don't trust what it can do to you. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's right. That's right. You see how you can serve God with it. Mm -hmm. Don't be stingy. Don't be selfish. That's right. And this is why God won't make everybody wealthy. You got some people stingy and they ain't wealthy. You can That's imagine right. the way they are if they got wealthy. Amen. There are some people before they made a little bit of money, some of you may have helped them. They needed money. You gave it to them. They needed something else. You lent it to them. You even helped them with furniture in the house. Then all of a sudden, they get a little bit of money. You would think you never done nothing. That's true. They don't come and thank you. I often think of the uh, sister that my mother and father took in. 
and the sister's own mother couldn't control her. And my mother and father took her in because they always took in folk. It was eight of us. But it ended up being like nine, 10, 11, or 12. But when I was little then, back in the 70s, and the sister repented, got baptized, even received the Holy Ghost. I mean, had the Holy Ghost. So my mother and father, of what? It was the sister's mother that reached out to my mother and asked my mother, would you please take my daughter? Because I can't do nothing with her. So after raising her, and she landing good jobs and all this other stuff, not once did she come back to Philadelphia and thank my mother. Wow. Even to this day, she'll come visit Philadelphia and will not stop to see my own mother. Wow. Please don't forget what little thing because without that little thing, you still would not have made it. That's true. That's true. Are you listening? That's right. How do we get so devilish arrogant? This is why God strips people. Right. He done it to Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Nebuchadnezzar was a king who was on God's side. Babylon started to prosper. Yeah. Then Nebuchadnezzar's mindset changed. changed. And what he used to say about God, he started saying about himself. Is this not great Babylon that I, I. have built? Mm -hmm. Out of all the years we've been pastoring, 35 years. And we're, we're celebrating 35 years this whole year. That's right. But not once have I ever said, this is my church. That's right. Not once. Here we started out with about 12 to 15 people in the basement. Now we have thousands. Yeah. And not once, not once have I ever said, this is my church. Because right. it's a lie. That's right. can't personalize what God declared to be his. Amen. Jesus said upon this rock I'd build my church. My church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said I'll build it. That's right. So I can't take credit for what's his. Amen. I'm just a laborer. Is that Bible? Paul said we are laborers together with God. I am just a higher laborer. That's right. On the job site. That's right. And I have the blueprints to the church. Hey, go ahead. I'm like a foreman. Yes, sir. Making sure the church go upright. That's right. And if there's any form of detour from the blueprints, we got to put everything back in order. That's right. What God have done for first church of our Lord Jesus Christ in this short time. Most men have never reached that pinnacle of success in their lifetime. That's true. And it's just still exploding. Yes. Oh, yeah. From state to state, country to country. And it's just beginning. It's just beginning. Don't say you keep saying that. I keep saying that because what of God have shown me years before I met you. Yeah. Is still in the embryonic state. Wonderful, man. Eyes have not seen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ears have not heard. Hallelujah. The good thing. Hallelujah. 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 We stay humble before our God. Hallelujah. We don't credit ourselves for what God do. That's why we always pointing the people to God. That's right. That's right. That's why our first statement is we bear witness. That's right. There is no God Hallelujah. but one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Wonderful. We don't let people testify and the first thing they say I give on to Pastor Jennings. No. Oh. 
God first. That's right. And I'm not next. That's right. The prophets is next. That's right. Then the apostles is next. Mm. Because they had it before we got here. Hallelujah. You cannot forget what them brothers went through. Uh, Hallelujah. We are just privileged to be a partaker of the benefits. That's right. It's privilege just to hold the scrolls and to read of the life and how God stood behind them. Hallelujah. And how they stood bold Hallelujah. and refused to surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We supposed to have that same spirit. So we are not distracted by wealth and popularity. God rules in the truth of God. That's right. God rules here. Come on, take it. Hallelujah. 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 God, I can. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, take it. Hallelujah, take it. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. God rules. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Are you listening? Hallelujah. If I would have got exalted, None of this would have materialized. No. Because my self-exaltation would have hindered the success of what... Listen, if when you get exalted and high-minded, you stand in your own way. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. When you get exalted and high-minded, you hinder your own self. That's right. That's why the Lord says, If my people, which are called by my name... Humble themselves. Humble themselves. And seek my face. See, God wants you to humble yourself and pray and seek his face. That's it. But you got to humble yourself. Oh, yes. All right, listen. This is good. Charge them that are rich in this world. Charge them. That are rich right here. That there are many of you wealthy people watch this program. A whole lot of you. Yeah. And God want to, I ain't saying God is trying to get your attention. To put that attached to God is an insult. God don't try to do nothing. That's right. God gets it. That's it. That's right. He'll make that rich man whose glory in his mansion have a car crash. Yeah. And now you can't enjoy your wealth. That's right. They'll make your house burn to the ground. Yeah. Now you can't brag about your mansion. Yeah. He'll let your Bentley flip over yeah. and let you barely make it out alive. God is getting your attention. Yes. That's right. But you are blinded by your dollars. That's right. So when you recover, now you go visit Jake's yeah. or visit Benny Hill right. and say, oh, I'm going to be a Christian now. Those men don't represent Christ. No. Being successful in God is not based upon the kind of car or house or suit of clothing or bank account you have. No. That's not success in God. Success. True success in God. I can say like Paul that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. You have money, I have wisdom. You have money, I have knowledge. You have money, I have understanding. That's right. You have money, I have seen the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Out of all your money, do you have what it takes? To make the resurrection. That's it. Do you have what it takes? That's right. To go back with God? That's right. Look at the love of money. You men out there in the entertainment industry, look at how much you love money. Love you sell your dignity and get dressed up like a woman. That's you're right. Pervert. That's you're right. You're Hollywood pervert. Go ahead. Just to make 20 or 30 million dollars, use a Hollywood pervert. Go ahead. I don't care if you're black, 
white, Hispanic, or Asian, or Indian, you're a pervert. That's right. A real man won't put on a dress for nobody. That's right. That's right. Love him. Do you know how of an honor it is hmm. to be made in God's image? Hallelujah. Let us Hallelujah. make men. Hallelujah. And our image after our likeness. And now I'm going to distort the image hmm. to put on a dress. Lord. That alone is blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Because if I was made in the image of God, God don't look like a woman. That's right. That's blasphemy. That's right. That's blasphemy. Charge them. Charge them that are rich, oh, you rich in this folk. world. You rich folk got a lot to learn. Yeah. You run to Jake's for refuge. Huh. You run to Benny Hill and all these other fellas, Benny Hinn, and, and you feel like you're in a godly atmosphere. Like Tyler Perry, a cross dresser, Go ahead. lay hands on Jake, Jake. And he's supposed to be a man of God in the spirit. <laughs> My Lord. <laughs> Tyler Perry got his hands on him and he laying there with the cameras on him. <laughs> That's right. An abomination laying his hands on a false prophet. That's right. Go ahead, man. Well, he's a Christian. He ain't no Christian. No. How he a Christian and his mouth is so foul, cussing as some bad Madea. That's right. Cussing. At will. Cussing. At will. A Christ-like man don't dress like a woman. That's right. A Christ-like man don't dress like a woman. A Christ-like man don't dress like a woman. Go ahead. Don't do it. Go ahead. Man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Man. Go ahead, man. You Hollywood celebrities that watch the truth of God, you sell your dignity, fella. Mm -hmm. You love money more than you love your own flesh. That's right. Love of money. As manly as Wesley Snipes act. Yes, I call your name. You don't like it. What do I care? Amen. He got dressed up like a woman, as black as he is, with a blind wig and lipstick. My Lord, what a fool. What a money. What's the matter with these men? That's right. Love of money. The love of money is the root of the all evil. Of how much? All evil. You can't offer me a dime that'll make me set out on God. I'd rather be killed first before I sell out on God. That's right. That's right. Either you save or you not. Yeah. Either God is first or he's not. Yeah. Go ahead. You preachers that are reaching out to us and claim you want to walk with the truth of God, if you ain't all out for God, stay where you're at. That's right. Don't come here. That's right. We're not begging, don't come here. Don't come this way with the expectation that think anything gonna change. That's right. God rules here. 